y'all today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a super easy chicken pot pie before I made this my husband and myself both of us didn't even think we liked chicken pot pie and I said well I'm gonna randomly try this one day and now we love it so stay tuned if you want to make an easy chicken pot pie I'm going to start with two large chicken breasts and I'm going to season them with salt, pepper, and dried basil. And I'm going to cook these by boiling them for about 30 minutes on the stove. Boiling chicken is my favorite method right now because it's just super easy and super quick. So I'm going to add them to a pot of water and put that on high heat and allow these to boil for 30 to 40 minutes or until the chicken is done. Once the chicken is done cooking, you can either chop it up into chunks or shred it using two forks, whatever you prefer for your chicken pot pie. Now I'm going to make the base of the pie mixture. So I have half a stick of butter that I am melting and then I'm going to add about one cup of chopped onion and let that cook for about five minutes until they are softened. Now I'm adding one third cup of flour and this is just going to help that sauce thicken up. Allow that mixture to cook for a few minutes and then you're going to add two cups of chicken broth and half a cup of whole milk. I'm going to bring this to a boil and you can see the sauce is getting thicker as it cooks. So once the sauce is thick, I'm going to add in the chicken that we cooked earlier as well as half of a bag of frozen peas and carrots. So you can add the whole bag if you like them, or you can add less, whatever works for you. But for mine, I used half of the bag. Now I'm going to add some garlic seasoning, salt and pepper, and more basil before I mix this together. Now we're going to prepare the pie crust. So I'm going to be using just pre-made refrigerated pie crust. This is an eight inch square pan, but it works really well in an actual pie pan. Mine was just being used at the time, so I was just improvising with what I had. So if you roll out the pie dough and just line it in your pan, make sure that you get it up as high as you can on the edges because you are going to need to connect it with the top pie crust. So I'm just adding the filling to the pie. And now I'm just going to add the top layer of pie dough. So I'm just going to lay it flat and pull off the edges that I do not need. Don't throw these away because you can actually use them to connect the pie crust if there are certain areas that you did not have enough on the bottom as you see here. Here you can see that I am using a knife to vent the top. This is super important to let heat out. So you can do it any design you want to, but just make sure you cut some holes to allow heat through. Then I'm going to take one egg that I have lightly beaten and add that to the top to help that crust brown nicely. And 
And last but not least, I'm going to use a fork to press the seams together all the way around the edge. I'm going to bake this at 375 degrees for 30 minutes and then I'm going to take it out, add foil to the top and continue baking for another 30 minutes. And in the end, you have a delicious chicken pot pie. You can also double this recipe and cook it in a 9 by 13 pan if you are cooking for a family. This creates about four good sized servings, so it's perfect for us for dinner and to have leftovers the next day to take to work. I hope you guys enjoy this chicken pot pie, and thanks for watching Cook for Your Man.